Good morning, everybody. This is Jeremy Williams representing GCAPCoolCast.com and Garden City Ammonia Program. We got another uh, R717 video tip of the day today. Today has been brought to us by Temprite. Pretty excited to have them on board for oil separation, accumulators, receivers. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without them. And we had a, a lecture a few weeks back on oil separation with screws. Uh, today we're going to focus on an oil separator we actually have installed on a reset piston machine. And uh, it's actually a Temprite one. Let's go check it out. Come with me. So as we're walking this way, we're going to go to uh, our recent compressor that's over here in the corner and uh, look at what we got installed. This is our pump out machine for the technician engine room. So here is our main suction. We got our discharge. And when you follow the discharge coming out, this is our vertical oil separator. And most people know that oil separation in the industrial ammonia world in the past was probably just a tank, maybe some mesh in it. Uh, but Temprite's changing the game. Uh, they got oil separators for ammonia, HVACs, F gases, CO2, definitely an industry leader. And when you look at this oil separator, here's a sister cutaway to it. You'll see that there's a manway on top. So obviously there's something in there that a mechanic would have to service someday. And this is a single coalescing element. So what would be happening is this port right here is the discharge of the compressor uh, going into the oil separator, which is the same as this one right here. Uh, so the gases would flow from this coalescing element inside out and if there's any liquid oil by gravity it would fall uh, And hopefully the dry gases would be allowed to go into the exit Which is this top pipe up here and eventually would be coming out of this hole opening on the discharge And hopefully it's just a dry gas if you look inside that oil separator right now You'll find that there's a mechanical ball and that's just a level switch So if I sit there and get some oil in there that level switch will open this whole tank is kept under discharge pressure, uh, but coming out of the bottom of the vessel, you're going to have some tubing or piping. This one right here has got some tubing, and this is going to be connected back to the crankcase of the oil separator. And uh, excuse me, not the crankcase of the oil separator, crankcase of the compressor here. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's a pretty functional, basic item. But what's nice is the elements of the coalescers and the additional ability for separations, besides just enlarging a pipe, maybe some mesh. And the goal is, is obviously to try to keep the oil here and at the machine and bring it back as needed. Uh, some cautions of tips on this line right here, that's the oil return. If you're using a manual valve, make sure that we're not opening that up to our discharge temperatures about 180, specifically for ammonia. And if you're using a solenoid here, you could use an RTD on this line as well and accomplish the same thing. Um, so let's give a little bit of shout out to Temprite for one, allowing us to use their cutaway here. Number two, it's an awesome machine. You can see that we've got them installed. Uh, their website is temprite.com. Uh, they build oil separators, accumulators, receivers, and all the applications of certain specific necessities needed in ammonia, CO2, halocarbons, and um, there's a little bit of uh, oil separation. For some of you guys that have taken our operator one or our online ammonia one, you've seen this head uh, ripped off of a compressor because of an improper startup. And what happened is that tank filled up with liquid ammonia and uh, they tried turning it on, but obviously it filled up the entire crank and the cylinder walls. So pre-inspections before firing up is essential, and um, we're glad to have you here. It's a good day. My name is Jeremy Williams, representing Garden City Ammonia Program, GCAPCoolCast.com, and thank you so much, Tim Wright, for the cutaway and the sponsorship of this video. Till we see you all again, let's keep it in the pipes.